Hey guys, if you're unable to play Fortnite because you're getting an error connecting to the Epic servers, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you a few steps you can take to fix this issue. Unfortunately, there's not one fix all solution, so you'll need to go through each of these steps to find the one that works for you. The first thing we need to do is come to our start menu by pressing the Windows key and you want to search for control panel and click on the control panel icon. Inside of here, you want to make sure view by is set to category and then we can come inside of network and internet. Come inside of the network and sharing center and then and click change adapter settings from the left here. We then need to find the network that we're currently using. So I'm using this Wi-Fi over here and we can right click on this and come into properties. And then from this list, you should see something called internet protocol version four. And we want to select this and come into properties. And where it says obtain DNS server address automatically at the bottom here, we're gonna change that to use the following DNS server addresses. And you need to type in the numbers 8888 and 8844. And then you can press okay to save the changes. We can then close out of these windows. And the next thing you're gonna do is come back to the start menu and search for Windows Defender. Click on the Windows Defender firewall tab and come inside allow an app or feature through Windows Defender on the left here. Then we need to select to change settings to allow us to make changes to this list and you want to come into allow another app and then select browse from here we need to find the epic games launcher if you're not sure where that's located all we need to do is come to our desktop to find the epic games launcher app and right click and select open file location this will tell us where the epic games launcher is saved so we can just come up to the top of this folder and right click and select copy and then come back to our firewall settings come inside the top here and paste everything that we just copied and then hit enter all we need to do is select the Epic Games Launcher by double clicking it and then selecting add to add it to the list of firewall settings. Inside of here it's listed as Unreal Engine Launcher Proxy and you need to make sure both private and public are checked and then we can hit OK to save the changes. If that's still not working, the next thing we can do is come back to the start menu and search for CMD. Then right click on the command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. Then inside of here, you need to type in the following commands, IP config space slash release and hit enter. And then type in IP config space slash renew and hit enter. And lastly, type in IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. We can then close off of this command prompt window. Next thing we can do is come back to the start menu and search for settings. Tap on the settings tab and you need to come inside of network and internet and scroll all the way down to advanced network settings and click that. And then down here, you should see something called network reset. We want to select network reset and then click the reset now button. This will also restart your computer. And once your computer's restarted, you can then try launching Fortnite and the Epic Games Launcher. Another thing we can do if that's still not working is come back over to the start menu and search for run. Tap on the run tab. And inside of here, you wanna type in percentage sign, local app data, percentage sign, and then hit enter. Come down these list of folders to find the Epic Games Launcher folder and come inside here inside of saved and you will see a folder called web cache with some numbers we just want to right click on this and select the trash icon if you get an error message like this saying the folder can't be deleted that's just basically saying it's running in the background so we need to make sure we first close down epic games launcher by coming to the start menu and searching for task manager click on the task manager tab and at the top here just search for epic and we want to make sure we close down any instances of the epic games launcher by right clicking and selecting end task then we can come back over to our folder and select try again and now the folder should delete successfully then the last thing we can do if that's still not working is we can close out of this folder and come to your epic games launcher shortcut then we need to right click on this and come into properties and at the end of this target text you want to type in space hyphen http equals sign w i n i e t and then come over to the compatibility tab and make sure you've selected run this program as administrator and then we can press apply and ok to save the changes once again we can try launching the epic games launcher and that should have now fixed your problem if you still are experiencing connection issues please drop a comment below and i'll try my best to assist you if this video did help you please drop a like and subscribe until next time